use uh, your projects? <laughs> Anyone? Okay. Um, well, it's, it's um, you mean every month? Um, well, I think what I love about One in Army is we always go back to Army to kind of um, get ideas to see what the community wants. Um, and then we start from there. Um, I think right now we are, uh, we have some polls for our, our birthday campaigns coming up. And um, that's usually where we start. And I, I, uh, I think research team takes over from there. Maybe Malika can explain, expand on that. Um, so from what I know is that um, when ARMY pick up a cause, research team starts like looking into different organizations and different like maybe countries or cities where we've never helped before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, try to find like an organization <coughs> that, um, that is not too big and that is not too small, uh, that has like a very clean uh, reputation, that doesn't have scandals and stuff. Uh, an organization that also have their information uh, public, you know, they are, mm -hmm. that, that is very transparent as well and very communicative because they have to be uh, ready to talk to us and inform us or if, if we ever have um, any sort of like question, you know? So they have to be very communicative and very fast in replying to us as well. So, you know, we, uh, we, we kind of have like a top, uh, top three organizations, then we vote on them. We decide which one we like the most. Uh, you know, all of us, right? <laughs> we all do yeah. that, we all vote. And then uh, from then, like design team um, continues. Yeah, if Sammy wants to continue on that. She's the team leader. <laughs> <laughs> the design well, team. Yeah, she makes that she makes that run. Well, and usually yeah. expanding before Sammy goes into that kind of on that too is that um, it, The big thing is tangible um, yeah, yeah. Support. So they want we want to make sure that it's it's things that are being given and it's impactful in that way and um, <coughs> Just we try to get as global as possible. So if we can find somebody that supports multiple countries or even you know worldwide we try to focus on that as much as possible. Um, but, you know, like Malika said, just reaching as many people as possible. Um, and usually once we get it handed down, then we assign somebody to be project manager, then we create a task list, and then usually it goes over to Sammy and she leads the rest of us through all the design stuff. Cause that seems to be the longest part. Really? Oh, I feel like the most important part is actually um, getting down to uh, through all the details first. We have hours and yeah. hours of <laughs> meeting time. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, and I, I love this part of it, actually. It's, it's actually really hard, <laughs> but I love this part because every um, every member on One and Army is able to kind of voice their, you know, opinions about things, um, you know, anything that they know. Everyone has different, like, uh, insights. And it's amazing to see that come out during our meeting times when we're making decisions. Um, it's the hardest part, a lot, and a lot of us are very, um, <clears throat> What is it? Committed to it, actually. And I love that. I love that. And I'm always committed is a good way. Sidelines, <laughs> side, sidelines kind of like waiting for it to, you know, narrow down and make a decision so I could work on the posters. But that that meeting part of it is very important. And I love that we have that. <laughs> Even though yeah. sometimes it stands for too, a little too long. But in the <laughs> oh, end... Two days. <laughs> I, I think we had one for like a whole week before. I don't remember. But, yeah. but, um, but that part is really important. That's And I think that's why a lot of our... Um, campaigns when we put them out they seem so meaningful and they do so well in in, in their own ways <laughs> yeah that's yeah good. okay i can do it <laughs> uh, i'm just trying not to talk so much uh, uh but uh well basically like it takes a lot of time which is why we do the crisis threads because when we do a campaign there's so much going on behind the scenes um, but it's, for example, if we do do the, uh, the birthday months, uh, at least we, we kind of switched the concept every year. But last year we asked ARMY like what kind of uh, theme they wanted to go for for uh, everyone's birthday. And once we have the theme, we can start uh, thinking about organizations that might fit this theme. And we also kind of want to like think about who, which member it is and maybe try to fit it in that way as well. Um, and then our research team starts looking into um, organizations that fits the theme. We have like a whole list of organizations that people have suggested that we can, that we have like categorized into themes. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, we look at those and then someone puts like, uh, like a, a little 
small small explanation of all of them and like what's the pro and what's the cons uh, and then <laughs> we do a vote uh, and once that's done <laughs> which takes at least a month uh, we 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 like to contact them and then maybe they don't answer and then we have to contact someone else and it's just like it's a whole process um so like what but once we've like locked it down um that's when the design team can start uh, drafting posters and they like come up with a theme they usually might th like look at the organization that we're working with and what kind of colors they use but they also look at the theme in general uh what kind of they like they're, they're color magic people i i don't get it but it all it's always pretty <laughs> maybe someone on the design team, team can explain it better uh but the, and then we start like drafting posters and the text for the posters and text for the, the tweets and for for the instagram posts and it's and we make the video and it's, it's just like it's a whole thing <laughs> that's that's a lot <laughs> yes <laughs> and then we do it all next month <laughs> Yeah, and then we start our next month because it's like we're always rolling. It's it's so yeah, it, it's a lot going on all the time. It's like a cycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can kind of understand how how album like BTS albums are made because everything they're they're like way way ahead of everything that more than we are. But but like I can kind of understand why and how it kind of simultaneously works together because that's kind of what we do as well. <laughs> <laughs> and is anyone from the design team want to say anything? Yes, hello. Hi. You need know. There's also Lina in the chat with you. Yeah. Me, Dolly, and Lina. Either of you. <laughs> you. You can go ahead, Uni, if you want. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, how do I explain the process? Um, <laughs> first, we okay. decide on. Uh, like this, depending on the partner organization, then we assign who will create the po main posters, then who will create the posters for the side activities, and we also plan what the side activity will be so that it will be coordinated to with the posters. Okay. And uh, I guess it's like previous. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Do you have any previous like experience in like design and stuff? Because it's not easy. Um, like, I try to do for the podcast. It's not easy. <laughs> I suck at it. Well, as for me, I'm the head of design team in Army Academy. And in other projects that I handle, I'm also the designer. And in my work, I am sometimes required to design social media cards. So I can say that I have experience with design, especially that I graduated from a course where we are also required to be familiarized with design tools such as Photoshop and InDesign. Okay. That's mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I'm involved in other projects like army projects and yeah, I'm part of the design team, at least some of them. And yeah, I don't really have a working background per se, but yeah, it's mainly part of design team with army. <laughs> We're learning together. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a learning process. <laughs> always, always. Yeah. Uh, All I know is that it's magic. It just happens. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know how you do it. It just happens. I don't know your either. It just happens. It's very, it's magic. Like people who can design. Like seriously, I'm so bad at it. Uh, you you oh. mentioned that you were a part of the uh, Army Academia, which yeah. we haven't talked about yet on uh, our channel, but we will as part of our Army History 101 series, um, where we talk about all the amazing things the fandom has done over the years or all the annoying people that annoyed us over the years. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but you were part of the uh, Army Academia, which is an amazing project, and I'm sure it's very time consuming as well. So is it hard to manage yeah. both? One in an Army, Army Academia, real life, all that? Well, well, I'm the type of person who loves having lots of side projects and when I'm resting, I feel like there's something wrong with me. Like, there's something that I'm not doing. <laughs> so, I even asked my psychiatrist about it. And he was like, well, you're the type of person who loves to juggle a lot of things. So, yeah, usually my calendar is full. <laughs> full of deadlines, full of meetings. But I'd rather have that than having nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with that. I'm kind of the same. Like, when there is... A, a blank time in, in my spare time, like, okay, what can I do? Um, what project am I involved in? What is needed to do? Actually, I'm really involved in another musical project with ARMY. So yeah, I have many things to do and that kind of settles me because I always have something to do and I know that my spare time is used, like I have things to do and this is comforting in a way. 
Yeah, I agree. Comforting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>